Hey G-Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So base episode is this cool amazing part right here in my hand and basically what this is is a GoPro accessory kit so they actually provide you guys a bunch of stuff right here that you can use for your GoPro but first thing first, I'm actually open the product to show you guys what's included inside first before I should test it out, alright? When you guys open up, this is basically what looks like inside so there's definitely a bunch of accessories right here but let me take out each one to show you guys what's included so the first one that we got right here is a very strong clip that you can use to clip it onto, I guess, like your jacket or your hat or something. Wherever you guys decide to use it, that's up to you guys. So the next one that we have right here, this one seems like a head strap. So you basically want to attach this onto your head. And you guys actually adjust it to make it tighter or looser based on your own preference. So right now, when I feel it, I can definitely feel that it's actually really, really tight. So I do need to adjust it. But let me just put it on to show you guys what it actually would look like if you guys actually have this on. So when you guys put it on, it should look something like this. So you just have to go GoPro right there. And you definitely have that really nice comfort and support to actually hold the camera right there. So you move it around like this and aim the actual camera wherever you guys want to. Definitely the strap itself feels pretty tight, but like I mentioned, if you guys want to adjust it, you can definitely do that as well. The next thing that we have right here, we have the wrist strap. They do have a little slot where you have to put the fingers through right here. And you guys can actually make it tighter or looser based on your own preference, like I mentioned. All right, so once you guys put it on, it should look like this. And you do get the double-sided Velcro, so that way you can actually stick on this side or you stick on this side. So that way you can actually get that extra security and extra comfort as well. So when you guys are done using it, just pull it out. Take it out right here, and it's all set. So definitely put it on the product itself will take a little bit while, if you can see. Let me show you guys how to do it. So just go like that. Make sure that part stick on. Slide it through the little hole right here. Pull it out all the way, and it's all set. So this is what it looks like on this side, and this is what it looks like on this side. And then once you guys are done doing that, you can actually install this part right here like this. All right, make it a little bit tighter first. So once you guys have it installed, it should look something like this if you guys want to use the wrist strap. And the cool thing about this wrist strap is the fact that if you guys want to remove it left and right, you definitely can. So right now, if you guys can see, it won't move. But I do have a little button right here. If you guys press it, it actually unlocks it and you go like this. Which is pretty cool if you guys want any different angles or whatever. And then same thing for the back side, if you guys press the button right there, that will actually lock it in. And it won't be able to move anymore, if you can see. So that's the wrist option, if you guys want to use the option. Right here, they provide you guys another one of the accessory to actually screw it on, if you guys do lose the other one. Right here is another mounting accessory that you can use to just slide it in and clip it in. But last but not least, we have the actual product itself that I wanted to show you guys and the whole reason why I got this whole set. This right here is basically a chest mount. Let me actually open up to show you guys what it actually looks like first. So this is basically what the product looks right here. So this is the chest strap that you guys want to put it onto your chest. Let me actually install it and show you guys what it actually looks like. All right, so once I install it, this is basically what it looks like. But this is basically where this part comes in handy. So you want to slide this in here, just like that until it snaps in. You guys can definitely use it on this side, or if you guys want to take it out and put it on the other side, you definitely can as well. And the way how you guys take it out is just by pushing this part right here, and then slide it back out. And if you guys want to do it the other way, you definitely can as well. And snap it in. So now I'm just put it on the GoPro to show you guys what it actually look like. So I just want to put it through here like this, and then screw it in, make it as tight as possible. And you guys can actually adjust it based on your own preference. If you guys want to push it all the way down, that's how far it can go. If you guys want to push it all the way up, that's how far it can go. But you definitely see the product itself actually looks pretty awesome. So that way you guys don't have to use your hand to actually record stuff. But you definitely see the overall product itself looks amazing and feels amazing as well. So this way actually will make it a lot easier for you guys to record stuff. So that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we look at unboxing and testing of the actual product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I definitely have to say that any kind of like GoPro accessory kits that come with everything that's included for right here, such as the wrist strap, the head strap, and also the chest strap, it's definitely super worth it, especially for those of you guys who are trying to do uh, videography, photos, recording stuff, just in general for any kind of action shot, if you guys are doing like snowboarding, whatever, these are actually super convenient and super worth it to get one of these. <laughs> but then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have used one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.